Hello farmers, welcome back to Adeta Farm. Uh, let's quickly talk about the steps needed to become a poultry owner. So starting from the roots, so what are the steps you need to become a poultry owner? So what are the things you need to get before you start rearing your, before you start your poultry farm rather? So what are the things you need? So that is what we are going to talk about today. Uh, but please, if you are new here, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel and as well, click the notification bell to get notified when next will drop a new content for you. Uh, to start a, a poultry farm is just a simple thing. So like I said in one of the broiler video, how to start a broiler, how to really broiler, so how to start the broiler farming. So it is very easy and it is very cheap to start a poultry farmer. So like I said in the other video, you don't need to get a huge, a very big amount of money to start your poultry farm. So you need just a little money to start. So depending on your level. So you can get some places, you know, just start from a corridor, any place, a room, a bedroom, anywhere. So there are lots of people that are doing this in their compound, outside, you know, outside their compound, they just make a cage and some do it in a uncompleted building and some do it in their bedroom, in the toilet, the place they have, they are not, they are not being using. So the, some do it there and some do it in an abandoned kitchen. So you can start your poultry farm uh, anyway and within a very short time of starting, you can actually become a poultry owner, like a poultry uh, farm owner so you can grow big and become a great poultry owner so firstly what is the step you needed to take so you need to have a target so if you don't have a target you won't actually know where you are going to so if you have a target and you only have money to start with with with, with very few uh chicken so if you have a target you can actually start from 50 chicken and get to 50,000 chicken within a very short time so you need to get your, you need to, you need to have a target. So when you have a target, it will be easy for you to grow. So uh, another thing is for you to get experience, like I do see in some of the video. So you get experience. Once you have experience, it will be easy for you to maximize all your uh, profits, your income and everything like that. So you understand. So you have to get experience. Then after you get experience, what do you do? So you learn to grow big. You learn to do what? You learn to grow big. How do you learn to grow big? You add to your business. So maybe you start with 50 or maybe, let me say, something 20 uh, chicken. So in a very, you know, uh, abandoned place, so, or in a cage, and you started with 20 chickens. So when you sell them out and you notice there is um, a profit, so when you get your profit, what do you do? You add to the business is that you add 10 to it or you still multiply it make it to uh, uh, two you, so you make it you make it 40 so you add to the business and you still do what you still use that one to boost it by then you, you start growing so another thing you still need to do is to get is to is to do what get to get hold of some drugs that will help you do what keep your chicken healthy so you have to have that mentality that intellectual as well so you know some medicine that will keep your your what your chicken healthy so that you don't lost mortality so if you are lost in mortality if you are losting your chicken like if you are getting mortality every day what is happening to you so you are losing profit when it comes to growing so when something drop out of you it's it's no longer there it's actually link you up like it you are weird out so that thing is out of you totally so that is one of the things that stay affects. So if you want to grow, so you just have to note, note uh, what happens to your chickens and how to treat them immediately. So one of the, one of the things you still need to know is problem solving. So you have to know how to solve your problem. So I talked this in one of the, uh, the, uh, the uh, my contents too. So you have to know how to solve your farm problem. So if you know how to solve, solve your chicken problem or your farm or anything that you're having, so if you know how to uh, solve the challenges, so you are good to go as well. Okay, so after your target, after your experience, after learning how to grow big, you know, after learning how to solve your problem, your farm problem, you now after learning how to treat your chickens from dying, how to keep them safe, you now after learning how to multiply, what do you do? So you think of moving to a next level. So you think of moving to a next level. So if you are increasing every day, you are increasing every day, you are increasing every day. So what do you do? You think of a place that will, you know, 
to, that, that that will contain all the your your level the place that will fit that will best suit your level so maybe you have tpcs and you've grown to something like 50 so and you've grown to 100 so talking of 200 500 so what do you do if you don't have the money to uh to to get a land that you will start your poultry farm you do what you rent a place that will at least boost your progress so you rent a place you get a place that that will help you that will catapult you that you will move forward so after getting there you do what you rear there you you keep your you stock your chicken there for some times so after you keep them for some times you still do what so when you are managing that place you should be getting money to start your own uh, to get your own land so that you can start your own farm so you can actually get land in a very far away even poultries are not allowed close uh, to the town to the city so you can get your land in a very far away place maybe nearby a town or a village you know no just a place like that so and the money to get there to achieve the land will be very what will be very low so the price to get the land will be very low so once you get that you, you do what you still start with your this thing you start your construction you know, you might not start big, you can still start, start small. So you construct little by little, little by little till you grow big. But before then, how do you how do you start? So you start maybe by rearing your chicken in a bedroom, like I told you, in an abandoned bedroom, abandoned toilet, a chick, uh, kitchen, so or abandoned room. So you make a roof for them. So you make a cage for them. So after you do that, you can start rearing your chicken. You know, uh, when we talk about growth, growth comes from inside us. It doesn't come outside us. So growth, growth doesn't come from outside. It comes from, from the inside. So in as much as you have all these thoughts and you have all this knowledge of growing big, what do you do? You develop it from, your, from the inside. So you don't wait for yourself to get multiplied to become big before you do what? Before you start. So you can become a poultry farmer a very big one, a very lucrative poultry farmer within a very short time. So if you allow the growth to come from inside of you. So we have a lot of people that are farming, that have started their farm, uh, these poultry of a stuff, they started with the above mentioned location. So they started with all those uh, uh, kitchen, you know, backyard, you know, their frontage and everything like that. So they keep, they made a cage, some made a cage. You can even check the uh, video. So I, I don't do without giving you examples. So there is a video at the end of this content as well. So once you are making money, once you are making profit, so, but I would like to advise you, if you don't have, if you are not capable to start with the layers, please don't start with the layers uh, chicken. So that will cost you a high amount of money. So you can start with your broiler, your noiler, your crawler, if at all you get. So you can start with all the breed that will only serve as what as meat. So once you are selling that, so and you and you are making profit, you add to your what you add to your to your um, business. So you don't don't always use profit money to do something. That is what I advise somebody on. I, I think it was on WhatsApp. We are having a chat on WhatsApp. So he was telling me it doesn't have uh, the profit is not good enough. So and it's thinking of another thing so i told him you can use your profit at this moment to do any other business your business will collapse the, your chicken your poultry business will collapse so you use the profits you are getting from the poultry farm to boost the poultry farm once you stand so you can actually get uh, the chance to start with another business it is true that a single business is not good for a man that is true but before you jump from one business to another make sure the first one has its own standard make sure the first one is reliable so if the first one is not reliable and you're trying to jump jump to the other one you can push it to right at the time so you lose boots so boats will, will collapse because you won't have the money to finance them the capital to finance them won't be there so you just have to grow you know, you grew your poultry farm. So once you uh, you become big in it, you can jump from there and start another business. Now, let me tell you a uh, story of one of my boss. He actually started with, um, I think, 700 pieces. So when he started with 700 pieces uh, with layers, so he started with 700 pieces and gradually he only have a pen. So gradually uh, he grew to 1,000. From 1,000, it, become, it becomes 1,500. Right now, as I'm telling you, is 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 keeping 
5,000, you know, pieces in his farm. And he, he has already, he's gotten, you know, plenty uh, pen now. So, and one thing that is added to it, he has started his breeding farm and is actually taking his eggs to the archery to hatch. So you get, so you don't, don't limit yourself when you are starting something small. So starting small is just the beginning of your greatness. So you can start, that is just the step to take. So you have your target, strategize. So plan well. So visualize it, gain knowledge, learn how to solve the problem that, that is facing that uh that's your target your plan so learn how to solve the challenges that will be facing there so with that you can actually get to where you are going so you get the money to finance there and once you're getting the money you use your profit to elevate your business so don't use it to start another business if you're not yet balanced with that uh business so this is just a simple ways to start a poultry farm so this is just the step so get a place just a little place forget about starting big get a little place so put sodas or the uh, on the ground or, or wood shavies anyone which whichever you get so get your broiler if you are starting from the lowest and you don't have money to start big so get your broiler so after all you get your noilers so after that you keep them you get them the feet so after getting the feed, so and if you notice the cost of uh, already made feed, if it is higher than what you think, so you can divert to uh, the local one, like you make you go to the uh, feed mill to make yours. So if you have a good formula, so if you don't have a good formula, there's no need for you to go and start what start doing your own uh, feed. It will actually uh, cause you problem if your chicken are not growing well, you will lose. So you just have to learn that you have to get you have to note that as well so that is just the simple way so once you solve the problem you get profit and you use the profits to elevate your business you can actually become a very great farmer in the nearest a poultry owner in the nearest future so that is just how to start so those you can go to those who uh, some big big men with a poultry farm so some of them don't start with a uh, with big you know, they, they don't start from the higher level. So they start from the lowest level. So I have lots of people that are keeping them. So you can get a cage or you get a, 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 a what? You get a, a room, any empty place that you, you are not using that is very close to your house where theft won't come to steal, your thieves, thieves won't come to steal them. So you can get that place and you do what? You start the uh, business. So you get, and within a very short time, you can become a very great poultry farmer. So this is just a simple thing you need to, to know just to start the poultry farm immediately. So you don't start from the biggest level. You start from the lowest level and you grow to the biggest level. So use your profits to do what? To maximize your business. So use it to elevate it. So within a very short time, you will see yourself turning to a big farmer. And there is one thing about this business procrastination don't let it ever happen to you and there's under i do say something if you make laziness your friend poverty will always be your intimate what intimate boss so you get so if you make excuse your best friend poverty will always be your intimate boss it will be the thing leading your life so if you take away excuse and you take away procrastination and you start this business immediately i'm telling you the fact you will grow to be a bigger person so forget about customers. There are a lot of people that are looking for chickens, you know, a lot of people that are trying to get, you know, and there is no much uh, supply for them. So it, once they notice, uh, a friend of mine posted on Facebook some time ago, he said, people don't actually run to you for what they don't need. They run to you for what they need. So it doesn't matter where your location is. In as much as you have what they need, they will come for you. So forget about the market or any other thing. Just start and the market will find its way to you. So that is just all about it. I remain your farm captain. I am Simeon. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as well, don't forget to click the notification bell to get notified when I still drop in your content for you. You just stay on Adotar Farm and we will be cooking you a very good dish and you will love to take them. Thank you for watching.